hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And today we're going to start Tier 4. The Jailhouse. Let's get in there. And we are greeted by... Oh, what was this? A sheriff man. Hey, I remember you. Alrighty. One of the mighty hunter twins. We find criminals and crush them as our livelihoods. And we bring them here to the jailhouse where justice is served. Well, actually, most people in here just commit petty crimes, so it's not a big deal. But, you know, I like to feel important. Uh, let's turn this off, for starters. We did get the energy saver last time. And we're at 141st place, Brightman Remix by Jess with an average score of 40.35. Alrighty then. Oh, Mick and Patchy were kind of high on this one. Alright, let's get into it. One tricky token, one element. So, I have high expectations of remixes. I expect things to be different and improved. I expect enemies to not just appear out of nowhere. I don't want it to just be like a rehash of everything. That was unique. Uh, I don't want it to just be a rehash of everything from the first Bright Man stage, which right now it's kind of not. It's mixing up things in a little bit of different ways. I don't like that guy appearing out of nothing. This isn't the first stage we've seen that happen. That's when I have to jump there. Checkpoint reach. Good checkpointing so far. What is that little handle thing in the middle? As it doesn't mean anything. I just mistimed the jump there. Interesting. Wasn't ready for most of that, but, uh, you know, it happens. This doesn't look like fun, though. Yeah, that's... that's not... We're gonna deal with that in some other way. And that some other way is going to be Spark Chaser. Go! That went well. Don't really need that stuff. Alright, well, let's see how this goes.
Okay, good. There wasn't death before the thing. I'm gonna not destroy them. There's a path down. And a path to the right. I don't know which is which. But in the base stage, the path down led to goodies. Oh hey, there's the turkey token. Got it. And an easy E, and that pops us out here. We will never know what was this way. Looks like another grasshopper section. Well, this is definitely feeling a lot more like a remake and not just a, uh... Not just rehashing the same thing. This is interesting, too. I like the combination with the dust blocks. How do I get anywhere? Oh, I probably need dust blocks, don't I? And how do I kill you? Oh, really? Okay, well, we have solutions. is not going well. There we go. I don't approve of that. have to stand here and take a hit. I don't want to stand here and take a hit. Let's wait till things light back up again. Can I do anything to speed this up? No. Okay. Now we can deal with stuff. Okay. This, I'm not... Hmm. I don't like this vertical section past the ladders. I think it's too much vertical because if one slip up, you're going to end up at the very bottom of this whole thing. Or end up, like, very much down here. jumping right away. Just does not always 
want to work for me. Wow. Okay, and this must be Bright Man. Ooh, a different layout. It's Spark Man. I guess Bright Man's not in the uh, dev kit, but weird to have. And it's kind of basic Spark Man. Because you have the basic sort of layout. Disappointed in the boss fight. If you're going to say it's Bright Man Remix, there needs to be a Bright Man. Even if it's not in the dev kit. Remixing an official Mega Man level, that's not a high score with creativity, point blank. I think it just depends on how the stage is done, and I think this one introducing the dust blocks in combination with those Bright Man swing platforms, I thought that was interesting. But if the goal was just to make a fun Bright Man level, well, this isn't terrible. This remix does a lot more with the batons Batans and Brightman's platform than the original did. The result can be entertaining. I particularly enjoyed the final climb, the token room, props for that checkpoint, and the first couple of crickets. That being said, the last cricket section, if you don't go for the token, is downright annoying. Because of the 10 second wait for it to hop through a spike corridor, Followed immediately by a surprise Alekin. That was a damper on my enjoyment. In fact, the level's core issue is a number of surprise and poorly placed enemies that just like that Alekin. The very first Alekin jumps you right before the first arc platform. Uh, the first ring ring appears while you're riding an arc platform towards it. The lone Bolton and Nutton is semi camouflaged against a blue background and appears mid jump. So on and so forth. It's a common and annoying issue. And it's the one I'd advise adjusting above all else. The mini bosses can also be insufferable, Buster only, and Sparkman should have been reskin to a lightning throwing bright man, but considering the easy application of our weapons, neither of these are severe issues in the long run. By no means the greatest, but I found it fun enough. Okay. Shinryu still gave this a 40. That mini boss and the arcing platforms really don't mesh well together. Yeah, they they don't. And we are abusing Magnetic Shockwave for sure. Okay, yeah, Bright Man isn't in the dev kit. I don't know, I still think it needed a Robot Master at the end. Bright Man's Bright Iteration. Oh, there's more remix stages that got submitted. I guess there'll be more to come.
Yeah, I could see some of the setups being a little bit too difficult when you've got enemies appearing, mainly the mini-bosses for me. I don't think a sprite change would be simple, just from my experiences building my stage, I wasn't trying to do any sprite changes, but um, basically nothing ended up being as simple as advertised. I'll leave it at that for now. But yeah, if you are going to submit a level for a contest like this, you, you gotta you got to be able to do stuff. You can't advertise Brightman Remix without having Brightman. I I still agree with that whole notion. I don't think you want to move the level outdoors, though, when Bright Man is a light bulb. Who uses light bulbs outdoors, unless it's going to be like a night-themed outdoor level? That could get interesting. Have like a dark theme, because then you can really have the dark theme, and then light bulbs light up your path. Someone make that stage. Crossover with the Game Boy iteration. Yep, yep, that's the wrong way to introduce stuff. I remember all the details, though. I'd say we handled most of the challenges fairly well. Yeah, you kind of had to remember that in the original stage, the goodies were in the lower path, and just hope that was the same for this remix. Fortunately for us, it was. Or you have to go and replay the stage to go take the other path you didn't take the first time.
The final climb might have been a fair challenge, but I just don't like the punishment of failing the challenge and having to redo all the sections of the vertical climb. Fire Magician. Scorch Fraud. Okay. Oh, were they both trying to be... Weren't they both trying to be Scorch Man in the 48-hour contest or something? Or is it the second contest? Ah, uh, the second festival. Okay. And here's stage 140. Which is not going to be my stage, fortunately. And you know, I realized we shouldn't be asking if the next stage is going to be my stage. We should be asking if it's going to be Dr. Novocaine's stage. Because we want his stage to appear before ours. Mine. I'm assuming you're all rooting for me, but who knows, maybe you're not. Well, I guess for now, I'll take my leave.